Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me. And guess what we're going to do today? We are going to do some scrap busting. And this is from Melina's Challenge for this week. And I have just pulled out some scraps. So I got quite a few here. And I, some of them's going to work, some of them may not. But I'm just going to grab those and lay them over there and i'll start with this one i think this is just a piece of that tim holtz wallpaper it's just a little scrap of that and i'm gonna use my scoring tool because i know how i am when it comes to scoring paper i end up scoring it too hard or too light and tearing it so i'm gonna just score about a half an inch right down through there and the reason I can put it here and score straight is because I have that little line that I've drawn just with a pencil I just put my pen down in there and just drew the line in there and I know that if I lay this stuff on here and put it there press it up against this and I look down here and I'm still on that same line then it's straight you can always do it over this way just, I, you know, I just do it different. You know how I am. I'm rogue. Okay, so we are going to fold that over. And then I think she folded over like this, if I'm not mistaken. And that's going to be our little pocket there. Okay, I'm just looking to make sure that I've got things kind of halfway folded right. So we'll go ahead and put a crease in that. And all of mine are going to be different sizes. I think all of hers were different sizes too. I don't think it really matters too much. Now, I don't have a die that cuts this out. You may have a die that cuts yours out, and that's fine. If you do, make sure that you use it. But I don't have one, so I'm going to kind of lay mine somewhat near the center now I can't get up over it so I don't know if it's center or not but we're gonna say that it's close <laughs> look at look at my little knot right there that'll have to get that straight okay that uh, that's close enough I'm not going for any kind of prize here, so it's close enough. After all, handmade, right? Now, I use my Tim Holtz scissors, or I use my little um, Cutter B scissors. These are really good for cutting these little things out. They're really sharp. They have a tiny little tip on them, and they cut usually really well now I cut to all my four corners after I make my little hole in the middle I just cut to my four corners and then I go in and I just start cutting that off and you know mine's not gonna go straight because you know how my hand is but it's fun to try anyway okay and then, then just go up this side. Okay. All right. We got that cut out. Well, that's not awful bad, is it? <laughs> it's not terrible. <laughs> Let me erase that crooked little line right there. That'll work. That will work. And this is just a stamping block. It's just a little square stamp block. All right. Now, what did she do? She put, on some of them, she put another little piece right down here at the bottom. And I thought that was cute. So let's see if I have a little piece here in my scraps that would look okay across there. Well, that wouldn't look bad, would it? Now, this is a very thick paper, so in order to get it to fold like I need it, I'm probably going to score it too, because it's very, very thick. Okay. 
I think I made some people very nervous using my, my cutter there, my guillotine cutter. They said, I don't know how you just, I cringe every time you run your hand under that. I don't know if it's showing on the camera like I'm running my hand under it, but I'm really not. I mean, if it's up like this, yeah, I can put my hand under it, but look how much room I have here. And this is, this doesn't fall down, so it's not like I'm, it's going to fall down on my arm or anything. So, sometimes I may do this, but I, I make sure this is up, and I don't, I don't get close to that blade. I, I hope I'm a little bit smarter than that, but you know, sometimes you don't know about me. But I try to stay clear of anything that might cut me. Because I, I really don't like cuts. So, rest assured, I'm being as careful as possible. Alright, I think she put a little piece up on the bottom like that. And I don't know if I even cut mine big enough or not. So, that would be cute. Um, this is going to be a little tag drop-in thing here. So, let's see. Oh no, before I glue that together, I need to put something back here since this is just white. I need to put something back here so when we pull our tag out, it'll be something really pretty on the back side. So what about this? Or that even? That's pretty. We could do that. Let's put a piece of this. So, now I'm not going to, you could make it the full size of this if you wanted to. I'm not going to. I'm just going to make it to where it'll cover my little window. I don't know exactly how she did it. You know, I watch, but then I forget. I can't remember. Yeah, I think that'll be cute. I don't mind that. So I'm going to glue that down somewhere right in there. Try to go as straight as possible. And then make sure that the top is glued real well so that when you slide your tag in and out, you um, don't catch that. Oh, I like that. Okay. So did Mama go rogue? I don't know. You know, I usually do. And then I cut a little slant in each end of that, just so that when you fold it, you're not that little piece is not going to poke out the side or anything. Okay. And now you see that you can't even see that there's a seam or anything on the front, so I like that part. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to punch my little pull here at the top of it. Y'all remember Miss Brooklyn? She's sick again. She's having some terrible stomach issues. She's always had some stomach problems ever since she's been in the world. And she's been on medication, but it uh, doesn't seem to be helping with this. So Alicia called her doctor today to see what she, they could give her. But she called me a little while ago, FaceTimed me, and she said, Nene, I'm just not feeling good. Bless her heart. I hate for my babies to be sick. All right, we're going to glue that there. And Miss Bethany got her license yesterday. So she is all legal to drive today. She um, actually drove over here to work today. And Aaron came with her. So he just thought, he said, that's so cool, Bethany driving. Just he and he and. Bethany in the car. He just thought that was great. Okay, there we go with that. I like that. And now we can make a tag to go down in there. But let's lay it aside and make some more before we start making our tags. Um, let's see. What about this? It says, tell me pretty things. Tell me some pretty things. And you know, since I've started doing Melina's Challenge, I don't have as many scraps as I used to. So you guys definitely need to get all in on the challenge. 
because she shows you exactly how to use your scraps up and you don't have to worry about having tons of scraps left laying around everywhere so get in on her challenges I don't think I cut that quite straight so we're gonna try that one more time there we go that should be right maybe yeah, I think this one will be really cute. And with when you're using your scraps up, you can use any size papers to make these little pockets. So, you know, it doesn't matter if your scraps are big scraps or little scraps. You can make big pockets and little pockets. And I think she called these, um, what did she call these? She called them... Um, specimen slides, I think's what she called them. And see, this one's going to be a little short, dumpy one, but it's going to be pretty. Now, if you had rather not put that little piece on the bottom, you could just glue that bottom together. But I think that piece just adds to, and look, we've got a duck on the front. I like that. So let's find a piece that will kind of go on the bottom of that. I think we'll go with a piece of this. And I am going to cut this one. This is another thick piece. So I'm cutting this an inch. Just gives me a little bit extra room to fold because this paper being thick, I just don't want to cut it short and I'm not be able to fold it good okay and hopefully I won't cut this one too short maybe okay so this is cut one inch wide and then the the width of this like that okay now if I cut my little opening here I'm gonna get rid of that little duck but I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that little duck so let's see if we can get all of him in here I'm gonna look in the camera and see if that looks about straight since I can't get up over it I could also use my t-square ruler that I forget about half the time there we go and then we'll just draw around this and I think Melina used a little block too. And then she had a little piece of paper that was that she used as well. Okay. So you see my square? That's what we're going to cut out. And she had a great idea. And that's punching a hole in the middle. I usually use my scissors to punch that hole. And I have my finger under the bottom. And then I poke my finger. So I'm not too happy with that. But, oh, foot, I don't want to cut my, I don't want to cut my little bird up. Oof. Okay, let's go up here and do a hole. See, I was talking and I almost messed up, which I do have a hole there, but we're going to see if we can remedy it. I'm going to try to cut this piece out without making too much of a mess of it. And then we'll try to use it underneath. Don't know if it's going to work or not. If it doesn't, we'll just go with something else. All right, let's see if I can fix that little corner a little bit better than when I have it there. And you could use your X-Acto knife too. I'm just not real efficient with an X-Acto knife, so I always end up messing up. Okay, I'm just going to take my little tool here. And these are our stylus tools, and they got a little ball on the end of them. And I'm just going to go back over that hole on the back side. And it closes it up somewhat. Somewhat. And then we're going to put that little piece down there, hopefully. So let's go ahead and erase all the pencil marks on it because we don't want those to show. Now let's just 
display that. I'm going to put glue on the back of it, lay it right down in there, and glue it to that back side. <laughs> there we go. That worked. See, now we still have our little duck, but he's on the back side. And yeah, there's a little bump in my paper right there, but I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm going to go ahead and make sure all of these pencil marks are erased around through here. Oh, and if you have one of these erasers, I'll show you what to do. You know, the, the edges will get all gummed up like that when you erase a lot with it. Just take your scissors and trim that off. That's all you have to do. Just trim that goopy part off of there. And then it's ready to go again. And they're really good for your extra glue that you might get on your pages when you sometimes you'll glue and you'll get glue a little bit outside the lines. They're really good to get that glue up. Now I'm just going to go in here and do a little bit of inking here just so that we can tell that we've got our little duck in there but that that is a window around him okay all right now we'll go ahead and glue this down cute i like that okay now we can put the little bottom piece on so i'm going to go ahead and score this down the middle because if I don't I'll fold it crooked and I may even score it crooked but at least I will have an excuse I'll say the scoreboard did it I didn't <laughs> no I am oh me look that paper cracked big time that's okay because this is an old paper that was in Melina's stash and I kind of stole a piece of it but we're just going to put some ink over that and nobody will be the wiser. And it's going to just be on the bottom of this so it's not like it has to hold something together. But see, I just inked over it. So that will be all right. I don't mind cracked paper if it's not on a journal, like the cover of a journal or something like that. That I can't fix. This is not going to be any have any pressure on it, so it's going to be fine to have a little crack here or there. It's not a problem. And I like that that color with this. That's pretty. Let's go ahead and cut that little top out here. And we'll make a few of these different ways, and then we'll embellish, and um, we'll get some embellishing done on them and make some tags for them. So you have to hang on if you want to see all of that. Now you can make this these with digitals too. You do not have to have cardstock. So we'll make one. Let's see how I can make one with that and still. We'll try to make one with this and see if we can still have some of that flower showing on the front. We'll, we'll do our best anyway. Whoops. I know I cut that crooked. I saw myself do it. Okay. So I don't want it that tall. So let's cut a piece of that off at the bottom and then we'll go back to the top and trim a little of that off. So that might be better. We'll see. Maybe. Now, if we. I'm thinking. This is, needs to be the front. So, okay. Oops, sorry about that noise. So let's fold half an inch as usual right here. Fold that over. Okay, now on this one, I'm going to go ahead and do, since it's kind of tall, I'm going to go ahead and do a little fold at the bottom as well. And then we won't put that other little piece on there. So I'm going to go ahead and do another score line at a half an inch. And that's going to be the bottom fold. Where we glue that together. And then we need to do like this. Okay. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Ah, ah. Now, <laughs> when I cut, if I cut a window out of that, I am going to cut my flower all to pieces. And I don't really want to put it in the background, do I? Let me think. I don't know exactly. I like that just like it is. I don't know if I want to make a little specimen window out of it. So if I used this one, I would just get all of my flower. If I use this one, I'm going to get the biggest part of my flower. You know what? On this one, I'm not even going to cut a little hole. I know that's not the object of this. If I if I do cut one, it's not going to be in the middle. I, know, I can tell you that because I don't want to lose my flower. Let's see. And we need to cut this little piece down here off because we don't need that. So that will go like that. Now, I have an idea. I don't know how it will work, but I do have an idea. Okay, let me think, let me think. All right, this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> we may mess this one completely up, but we'll see. I'm going to poke a hole about right there. And I'm just going to take my scissors and get it started. But I don't want to cut it. I want to tear it. But I think I'll have to just kind of tear like this. Okay. I know you're thinking, oh my goodness, what is she doing now? Look what a mess. What a mess. Now right there where I cut, it's not rough enough, so I'm going to rough it up. All right, and then I'm going to cut, start another little hole right over here. And yeah, I'll have to, we're just going to rough this paper up some. This paper's been worn. But I, if my idea comes together, I, you'll see it. And if it doesn't come together, then you won't ever see this. Okay. Another little hole. And then I think I want another one right down here somewhere. So let's start right there and see what we get. I'm just going to do a little line and then I can tear around it. That makes it better. <laughs> I know. Crazy, right? Yep, I'm crazy. Okay. Alright. So we have three little odd holes there. Ooh, what we're going to do with that. Well, first off, I'm going to ink those little odd holes. Just ink them a little bit. Just so you can't see all of that white that's coming out there. Now, I could have torn from the inside and you wouldn't have seen all of that, but I wanted to make sure I was not tearing my flowers. All right, so there we go. Now, we are going to put some lace behind this. Now, I'm not real sure which will work better, so I just pull some different laces and we're just going to lay them down here and try them. No, I don't think I want that one. What about just, just a little cream colored lace? Oh, I don't mind that one. I don't think that would work. Let's see how that one would look. Mm, not as fond of that one, so I'm thinking it's going to be this one. So what we're going to do is, now this lace I'm going to glue here on this side. Well, I've got something on my finger and it won't let go. So I'm just going to cut some pieces. Look at that. That blue string. It just, it's like, it's attached to me. Won't let me go. And then I'm going to go around that hole. And I'll lay my lace down there. Mm 
Now you do want to get this glued down well, especially at the top, so that when you put your tag in and out that it doesn't get stuck on your lace. So just make sure you glue it down well. Whoops, I went right through that hole, didn't I? Okay. I almost got that one too close to the edge, but I think we can still work it. Oh yeah. So glue that there. I used to do this a long time ago with um, scrapbook pages when I would do different scrapbook pages. Sometimes I would tear little holes in them and put lace and trim and things behind them. Just something different. Just something different to do. Okay. Let's make sure we got all of the little pieces at the top glued down well. We don't want those hanging on our tags. I think that will work. I'll go ahead and make sure that folds, that folds, and that folds, and it does. And then that's how our little specimen card looks. We got our specimen as lace pieces back in there. And you could stick like a little bug or a little tiny um, butterfly or something on those that would be cute too but look at that I think that's cute at least I do everybody else that might not be your fancy but I I like something different like that every now and then okay all right let's glue this guy together oops Edith you're making a mess of the glue girl slow down get excited when a plan comes together okay I should have trimmed that little piece off right there and I didn't so let's just trim him back a little that'll work that. all that needs is a little label and yeah if I have a little butterfly and put a little butterfly there it'll look like it's hung in a little cage or something or a little net but we'll, we'll try it out all right, let's see. Let's try a different one. Now, this one, I think I'm going to make, and I'm going to show you an easy way to make these. I'm going to use just this envelope, or this piece of an envelope. It's actually a half of one. And I'm going to measure this side and see how much I've got here, and I'm going to cut that same amount over here. You guys have seen me do this similar to this before. Uh, on other videos, but this is a very easy way to make one. Okay, we got uh, one and one eighth, so let's go one and one eighth over here. And then we'll try to, our best to line that up. Right, now for this one, I want to put something here because I want something behind this window other than that when you pull the tag out of it. So I was thinking about a piece of this. Oh yeah, I like that. See which way I like it the best. I think I actually like it that way better because you can see some of that blue. And this is the exact right size too. I think I'll just glue it all down. It's just a scrap paper that's been in mine and Melina's stash forever. She probably had already forgotten that she had this somewhere. Now make sure that you keep it out of your fold. And then make sure that the top is glued down well. That's the good thing about those little fine tip applicators. You can really go in there with the glue without moving everything. Okay, I like that. Yeah. 
Now on this one, I think all I'm going to do is glue that bottom and the side together. I don't think I'm going to try to fold it or do put anything else on it. Just going to glue it. That's how I get glue all over my table. And yeah, I could use my craft mat all the time, but a lot of times the craft mat doesn't show up exactly the right color on screen. And it messes some things up, so. Now, in these, you could have put vellum behind this if you'd wanted. It, it doesn't matter with me. This has got that little plasticky piece behind it, and that's okay. Now we're going to cover this. So we're going to cover the front of that. Now I have to find what I want to cover it with. Okay, I have this piece of wallpaper that was laying in my stash. We may use it if I don't find one that I'd like to use more. Okay, I think I'm going to stick with this one. Now all I'm going to do is put this down on there and then I'll trim it off. But I am going to tear this edge because I'd like to have... The part that's closest to my window, I would like to have it a little bit jagged. Not quite so straight. Now, this vintage wallpaper is not as easy to tear <laughs> as paper. Um, you have to really put some pressure on it. It's pretty thick, and it just doesn't tear as well. There we go. That'll work. Okay. Now let's go down through here like this. But I'm going to ink this up right here where the window's going to be. That will work right there. Now I am probably going to glue this pocket down so I may not even cover the back of it. If I'm going to glue them down, I don't, I don't cover the back. I don't worry about that. But if you're not going to glue them down, then just go ahead and cover the back too. And then you can just clip them if you want to. Clip them on the edge or whatever. Make sure I got that somewhat near straight. So there is that. I think I'm going to put a piece of this on this side. I'm not going to make them all match. Matchy, matchy. Now you could have just covered all of this or tried to, before you covered it, just cut out your center part. But I'm just going to leave mine like this. I don't have a lot of luck cutting that center part out. I end up getting it really messed up. Okay. So about right there down. We'll put some ink. And then just pop this on there. I like that. That's pretty. Sometimes when you lay these on there, you can't really tell how crooked they are until you hold it up to you or flip it over. I like that. Okay. And now we need to have a piece up here and a piece at the bottom. And I may just go with that lace that's right there in the middle on the top and the bottom. Let's try that. We'll have to cut out. Well, I tell you what, I can tear it out. Duh, Edith, you can tear. There we go. I love that too. That'll make a cute belly band. Oh, let's hope this is wide enough. Oh, almost. Well, I can trim the top of that off a little bit. It's not a big problem. And I think I may... Trying to decide if I want to go all the way across or not. I may not. I may just stop it about right there. And then the same on this side. 
just gonna not stop it right at the corner but just take it over just a little bit like that okay so let's go ahead and ink the part that's going to be closest to the window i have to hold it up so i can see if i'm anywhere near straight looks pretty good and then we'll do this bottom and i think on the bottom i'll go all the way across i don't know why just because i want to So go ahead and trim this and then I'm going to cut the top of that just a little bit to even all of that up. And my glue is still wet so that's why it did what it did. But it cut it anyway. And then let's see if I can punch this out. This is a lot of layers that I'm going through but yep. Okay, so there is that one. I like that. It looks like a little patchwork quilt. And I think once we get our, oops, come on now. Once we get our tag in there, that's going to be so cute. So let's make a few tags. I don't know how long this video already is, but I'm going to make a few tags and do a little bit of embellishing. Now I got these large um, index cards in the Happy Mail the other day, and I thought, when I got them, I thought, ooh, that'll make some good journal, um, good uh, tags. So I think I'm gonna, on the smaller ones anyway, I'm gonna use these. I may have to double them up, I don't know. I don't know how. Well, it feels like it's gonna be stiff enough. Of course, I'll need to trim it off a little, I think. We need to put a focal point right there. So let's trim this off. Yeah, that will work. I don't mind it sticking out a little bit at the top. Now we just need to put some type of paper on there and then a focal point that'll come right here, that'll hit right here. So I am thinking, to me that paper looks pretty good. So let's just do it. Don't think about it, do it. Well, that's cute. Look, that flower hits right there in the middle. That's cute. All right, I think I want it a little bit shorter. Now that I see it in there, I think I am going to put it a little bit shorter. A little bit shorter. And then I am going to cut it into a tag shape. And you may say, where is your template? And I'm, I'll tell you, I don't know. I've lost it. I have to make another. I cleaned up my desk and I can't find anything. Yeah, that works. And then we can put a little tab or um, some lace or something up, up at the top. I may just put a hole and put some lace in it. Let's do that. Let's just make a little little hole and we can put some seam binding or lace or whatever in there. This is some very, very old lace that I had over there in my stash. Oh yeah, I like that. Now it's got wording here, so I don't think I'm going to put anything else on that right now until maybe I put it in my journal and then I can decide if I want something else on it. All right, let's make one for this. Um, that's not quite tall enough. So let's grab another. I have to go this way. Make sure that it fits, because I have been known to cut them and they don't fit. All right, that fits good. Now, what are we going to cover it with? What about... So what if we just use this little scrap piece that we've got here since the object of this is to use up our scraps oh cut crooked cut crooked Edith pull it up okay I never realized it's gonna be so hard to put this on here there we go Just barely enough to 
cover that with. Yeah, I think that's going to be cute in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it into a tag shape. And then I'm going to round the corners at the bottom just because, just because, I don't know why. I just seem to want that one rounded. Now I may not do a lot of decorating to my tags until I start to put them in a journal because I may wait and just test them out and see which journals I want to put it in. But I will put a label or something on here. I like that. That's pretty to me showing through there. So let's put a label on here. Oh, let's see. About that little label. It has a butterfly on there. But I think I will use a little piece of vellum behind that. I've got some scrap vellum here as well. And it looks like a little rat chewed it the way I tore it. But let's see what it looks like. No, no, no. Got too many little points sticking out. Okay, that should work. All right, I think underneath that I'm going to put a little tiny piece of book page. Let's put that little piece of book page down. Grab my Barely Arts glue. Put this down. Love how that book page shows through there. And then we'll come back with this on there, like that. Okay, so there is that. We could also put a little flower or something down here. See if we have a little bird that might work. Yeah, we could put that little bird down there. Yeah, I like that. Now, I'll punch a hole in here. And I don't, I don't have any more lace right here on my desk, but I'll put a piece of lace or something in there before I take my photo. And I may go ahead and add something in here too, like a, I don't know, a butterfly or something. I don't know if I will or not until later on. Who knows? Okay, this one I want to put some labels on. I want a label here and maybe something there to kind of disguise where I ended those pieces. Sometimes it looks better if you use a little bit of disguise on those. And I think I will. I think I'll put that flower on there. I'm going to put that little label there, I think. Okay, let's see what we can do with this now. And I may not make a label for this one. So I'm going to put that at an angle so it will kind of disguise where I join those papers. And then I'm going to put this little stamp on this other side. And I'm going to rough him up, make him look like he's a whole lot older than what he is, which he's pretty old because this is a one cent stamp. So you know how old that is. that there oh I like that and now I need just a number or something right here okay I'm gonna grab one of Tina's they're kind of olive green numbers and this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah on Etsy I'll put that right there so that is that one I like that 
Right, we had this one. Um, I'm thinking all this one needs is maybe a little butterfly and then a label. I really don't think it needs anything else. So what about that label? And then I don't think I have a little tiny butterfly. I got a big one. See if we have a little tiny one in here. I do have one right there. I don't think he'll show up as much as I want him to. Oh, I have a tiny one right there. I kind of like that one there. That's cute. Okay, let's go with that little butterfly. I'm going to have to make sure that I don't glue my pockets together. Okay. And then this little label. I think I'm just going to put it right up through there like that. And that will be that little pocket. All right, I think that's all that I'm going to do to them right now. I may do a little bit more, and then you'll see it in the pictures if I do. Um, I like to go ahead and get my tags made, but I'm not sure what journals I'm going to put these in. So, But that is my little pockets using my scraps like Melina. And I'm going to put Melina's channel below. You guys go over and check her out. Don't forget to subscribe to her channel if you would, please. I would appreciate that. And then we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.